Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the trigonometry and you all know that trigonometry is very simple and the easy thing but the many students find it very complicated because they do not understand it in the right perspective. So now what is right perspective? Right perspective is that the what is trigonometry, how actually it works and what is the mathematical construct behind this purpose. So as you see its name is trigonometry and it means that the triangle plus measurement triangle plus measurement so this is my triangle and then i want to do measurement now measurement what do you mean by measurement measurement means what you can measure so you have a triangle suppose if i name it with the vertices a b and c so it uh, it has three sides a b b c c a and the three angles this is angle A, B, C, angle B, C, A, and angle C, A, B. So a triangle have the six components, three sides, and three angles. And in the trigonometry, we are going to measure these three things properly. So before that, we have a basic relation between the three sides of a triangle in a right angle triangle actually and that is also popularly known as Pythagoras theorem which says that if you have a right angle triangle this is your right angle triangle angle right angle at B this you can call it so the Pythagoras established a relation that the square drawn on the side of AC is equal to the area of the square drawn sides of triangle AC is equal to sum of the areas drawn on the other two sides and which roughly takes the form of AC square is AB square plus BC square. So the Pythagoras theorem gives you simple the relation between the three sides only applicable in the right angle triangle and if any two sides of a triangle are known then you can find the third side but the triangle has necessarily to be a right angle triangle. This is the relation C square is AB square plus BC square. So now you see that this is a triangle this is Pythagoras theorem. Now the trigonometry goes beyond Pythagoras theorem and tries to find out if with the help of these sides, if any two sides are known, can we find the ratio? Then they found yes, we can do. So now I have to clean the screen. So, give me this. so the trigonometricians or the mathematicians of that time, they decided that to introduce a new idea called the ratio. So here I have my triangle and I'm naming it as ABC. So they designed, and this is right angle triangle. Yeah, so they designed that if you want to use trigonometrical ratios, so this angle I'm calling it as theta, and since other two sides are acute angle, this angle is going to be 90 minus theta. So what do we have? We have certain ratios. This is sine theta is called as AB over AC. So sine theta is this divided by this AC. Now cos theta will be BC upon AC and then tan theta is equal to AB upon BC. These ratios actually are like if you see in terms in the perspective of this angle then you can say that this is opposite upon adjacent. So this is O for opposite. This is not the standard way, but sometimes students find it very difficult to memorize, which is that. So you can just access like this is the angle. So just it's opposite of that. AB is the side opposite to this angle under consideration. And this BC is called the adjacent to this angle. And the angle opposite, side opposite the angle, 90 degree is called as hypotenuse. So this is always fixed same size. So this is hypotenuse, AC is always hypotenuse if you see it from this perspective or from this perspective. But if you see from this side, this AB looks like the opposite and BC adjacent. But if you see from this perspective, then the BC looks like opposite and the AB as adjacent. So to remember, some people say that they call it Sokatoa, S, 
O A C A H T O A it means sine is opposing upon sorry it's not S O A it is S O H so sine is opposing upon hypotenuse cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite upon adjacent using this if you see sine theta is opposite this is ac so ac sorry ab over ac and the cos theta is bc over ac and the tan theta is opposite upon adjacent toa tan is opposite upon adjacent sine is opposite upon hypotenuse cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan is opposite upon adjacent so you get this relation now if i change the angle as 90 minus theta so what i'll get i get sine 90 minus theta so for this opposite will become bc so bc over ac hypotenuse as it is always fixed value now the cos 90 minus theta is adjacent and that is AB upon AC and the tan 90 minus theta is for this opposite upon adjacent that is BC over BC over AB. Now if you look at these two values since AB, AC and BC are the three sides of this triangle they can be measured in centimeters or the kilometers whatever dimensions they have so the sine theta is just the ratio of the two similar physical quantities so this is just going to provide you one numerical value just like suppose if this is 5 centimeters this is 12 centimeters and this is 13 centimeters so the sine theta in this case is 5 over 13 that is the ratio of the two sides and that is the dimensionless quantity this is just a number so sine theta is 5 over 13 and the cos theta is 12 over 13 that is again dimensionless quantity because centimeters divided by centimeters cancel each other and 12 over 1 centimeter will be just a numerical value. Now if you see these two ratios so sine theta is AB over AC this is AB over AC and this is also AB over AC so it means sine theta will always be equal to sine this cos 90 minus theta. So now we get one more relation that is sine theta is cos 90 minus theta otherwise also it is true BC over AC and this is BC over AC so cos 90 minus theta is tan theta Okay, now three more ratios were adopted. These are the reciprocal ratios of sine theta. They are also called introducing the ideas of the inverted row in the ratio. So sine theta when it's inverted, it becomes AC over AB and that gives you the idea of cosec theta. So if I write here, do you have any problem? So cosec theta, this is called the cosec theta. This is another ratio and this is reciprocal of sine theta. So the cosec theta into sine theta is 1. Clear? Now same way I have another ratio that is called as sec theta. So sec theta is the reciprocal of the cos theta. Sec theta into cos theta is also 1. And then another one that is cot theta. So the tan theta into cot theta is also 1. So this one gives you the idea that the reciprocal of the sign, I just want to write with the red pen, reciprocal of sign will be cosec, reciprocal of cos will be sec theta and reciprocal of tan will be just cot theta. So if I use my idea in terms of the SOH called SOKATOA, so if sine theta is AB over AC, then the cosec theta is just reciprocal of that which is AB like AC over AB. So this become AC over AB. This one is just reciprocal. Same, same way sec theta is reciprocal of this that is AC over BC and the cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta so that's why you get the BC over 
a b and now these relations you know that the, if you multiply a number suppose if you have a number x and if you multiply it with its multiplicative inverse that is 1 over x you always get 1 that's why we are getting this relations because 1 is a reciprocal of another so the cosine theta is the multiplicative inverse of the sine theta sin theta is the multiplicative inverse of the cos theta and the tan theta is multiplicative inverse of the cot theta now here also you get the similar relations now you see this is another kind of relation that is like this so the sine theta is cos 90 minus theta tan and the cos 90 minus theta is this. sorry this is not tan this is sine theta now if i go for tan 90 minus theta that is cot theta cot 90 minus theta that is tan theta sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta cosec 90 minus theta is sec theta so it means suppose if i put this theta as 22 degrees so if this theta is 22 degrees and this is 90 degrees so the complement because you know complementary angles a pair of angles which even add up to be 90 degrees called the complementary so what is complements of this 22 is 90 minus 22 that will be 78 degrees so now what do you say then you see that sine 22, like sine 22 is cos 78, cos sine 78 is cos 22, tan 78 is cot 22, cot 78 is tan 22, sec 22 is cos 78 and the cos 78 is sec 22 and the uh, sec cosec 22 is sec 78 i means just you have to put the value this now using these values we will be deriving the table and where we can measure some angles of the trigonometry using this 0 30 and 14 and like that so just coming after a small break and this screen will be clear okay so now i am interested in finding out the values of some known uh, trigonometric known angles using trigonometrical and uh, they are first you just learn how to create this table 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 60 this is 90 then here I have sine cos tan cot sec and cosec uh, so is everything clear now everybody understand that the screen is clear okay so now how to fill the first row is just uh, a rule uh, that will help you to remember how to fit the table so you see there are one two three four five five values we can put so you can take these five values as zero one two three four divide them by four by four by four by four by four so what i have done I have taken numbers, this is just uh, this is the first five whole numbers starting from 0, 0 all numbers always start from 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then I have divided them all by 4 and then put them in under root. Now you got your first row complete. So now what does it mean? Under root of, so this value is 0 this value is 1 over 2 this value is 1 over square root of 2 this value is square root of 3 by 2 and this value is just 1 so you got the first row and now 
let me remove this part and then I'll fill the hole. So this one is zero. This is one over two. This is one over root two. This is root three over two. And this is one. Now write the whole thing in the reverse order. Why? Because we just used the formula that sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. So now we are looking for cos zero. So if you want to put theta as zero, so you just write here cos zero, replace theta by zero. So the cos zero is sine 90 minus zero. So sine 90 is cos zero. So sine 90 is this and the cos zero is here. So I'm writing this one as one. Same thing when I just move here. So the complement of 30. So the cos 30 is sine 60. So this is root three over two. Sine 45, 45's complement is 45 itself. That is, it will remain same. One over root two. This is one over two and this is zero. So now what is the reason? Cos zero is sine 90. Cos 30 is sine 60. Cos 45 is sine 45. Cos 60 is sine 30. And the cos 90 is sine zero, just using the same rule. So now we know that we have to find the third row, which is the value of the tan theta. And the tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So 0 over 1, 0. This over this, it's 1 over root 3. This over this, that is 1. This over this, it is under root 3. And this is 1 over 0. This is infinity or we can say not defined. Mathematically, symbolically, it's written as infinity. Now, the cot is just reciprocal of tan, so the reciprocal of 0 is again not defined, that is infinity. Reciprocal of this is root 3, reciprocal of this is 1, this is 1 over root 3, and this is 0. Now, the reciprocal of like cos is sec, so the cos just reciprocal this row, so this is 1, this is 2 over root 3, this is root 2, this is 2, and the reciprocal of 0 is again not defined now the reciprocal of the cosec is sine so now we have to find the reciprocal of this one or otherwise you can write this in the reverse order that is not defined 2 root 2 2 over root 3 and 0 this is how the table is made because in the board examination they ask you the table in the IGCSC, you don't have to remember all this shit thing. Then you can just directly use your calculator because they are allowed to use calculator. But if you are studying in any Indian boards like the, then you have to find a way to memorize all these things. Now let me clear the screen. Now you can ask the question, how can I say that sine theta is 1 over root 2? How? I'll explain you. Now I'm interested in finding out, this is you can say, I can take it prove that sine 45 is 1 over root 2 how. So just simple, just draw one right isosceles triangle. This is A, this is A. So in the right isosceles triangle, if these two sides are equal, so these angles will be 45 and 45. Now you can name them as A, B and C and if you are interested in finding out the length of this AC then use Pythagoras theorem that is AC square is AB square plus BC square which is A square plus A square that is 2A square and if you put AC this hole in under root 2A square you get it that under root 2a this is under root 2a and then use simple idea of the sine theta sine theta is opposite which is ab upon hypotenuse ac therefore ab is what ab is a over and that is root 2a so root 2a and this you get this is sine theta is 1 over root 2 now this is the value of sine 45 because this is what it is so same way if you just draw one right isosceles triangle you can find the value of sine 45 now this is all now if i have more interested in finding out the value of 30 and 60 how will i do that 
that I need to explain you after cleaning this screen. So just give me two seconds. Now here I'm interested in finding out how sine 30 degree is 1 by 2 and the sine 60 degree as root 3 over 2. How to find these two values and how they have got this idea. The idea is very simple. You just take one equilateral triangle where all three sides are equal now this is a this is a this is a now i want to find this because this is not a right angle triangle however all these angles are 60 degrees so this is 60 these three angles are 60 degrees each now i have to apply trigonometry so i need to have right angle triangle so i drop a perpendicular from a on to the side bc so this is my AM. So this is right 90 degree. Now you see I want to establish the congruency between the triangles AM and, and the AMB. So if you see this AM is common to both sides and the AB is the hypotenuse of both. This is because 90 opposite. So this is the hypotenuse. AB is the hypotenuse for the triangle AMB and the AC is the hypotenuse for the triangle AMC. So now here that is this is also so this it means this side is common, this is equal and this is 90 degrees. So using a right isosceles triangle or because the 60 is also 60. So there are various ways you can say ASA or the ASA or AAS. You can establish the congruency between these two triangles. So it means the BM will equal to MC and whole length of the BS, BC is A. So this will become A over 2 and this also a over 2. Now I want to find out the height of this am so I'll use this triangle so I'll write ac square as am square plus mc square that is a square plus a square by 4 the square of a over 2 is a square by 4 if you add them you'll get sorry 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 ac is a square so this one should be a square and the AM should remain AM. There is no problem with that. So I'll find this AM square as A square minus A square by 4. That is 3A square by 4. And if you find AM, you'll get under root 3A by 2. So this height is under root 3A by 2. Now, since we have already established the congruency between these two triangles, it means this red line is also the angle bisector for this angle. So these two angles are equal since the total angle is 60. So we can conclude these parts are 30 degrees each. Now, how to find the ratio? So you see 30 and 60, you use just this part of the triangle. This part is not required right now. So I remove this part. Now I use trigonometry in this very simple part and then I say that sine 30 is opposite which is A over 2 so first for this angle opposite will be MC and the hypotenuse is A so that is AC so this is A over 2 over A that is 1 over 2 and then sine 60 is equal to for this angle opposite which is AM over AC that is root 3 over 2 over A and this will give you root 3 by 2 if you want to find out tan 30 degree then also you can find opposite upon adjacent that is MC over AM and which is A over 2 over root 3 A by 2 and this one gives you 1 over root 3. So on the basis of these kind of triangles only it has been found. Now how to find the angle 0? If you want to find the angle 0 then how can you find 0? It means you have to assume that the perpendicular drop if this one if this just comes down slowly 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 slowly. Now see if A comes here then you get that your angle is decreasing. If A comes further here angle is decreasing further if a comes along this this angle will become zero and when a combines with am so the am will become zero so when am is zero and then at the same time this ac will also become 
MC because A will come here. So using that you can find the values for the angle zero also. This is all about the basic part of the trigonometry. In the next video we will discuss more about in the advanced level because the angle is not only between 0 and 90 we can go for the angle beyond 90 degrees until then subscribe to our channel and stay spirited keep practicing and keep growing